Hello, Gary Simon here of designcourse.com. Today we're going to have a quick video tutorial and we're going to focus on graphic user interface or GUI design techniques. And we're going to step into Adobe Photoshop and actually try to recreate some of the Adobe Photoshop panels with Photoshop layer styles. So if you need access to the project files, which will include all the layers with their predefined layer styles, they're available for free at designcourse.com. All you have to do is just log in and register real quick. It's free. And also, if you haven't yet, subscribe here on YouTube and check out the site. All right, let's get started. All right, so let's go ahead and go to File, New. And I'm just going to choose a width and height that kind of fits in this area. Uh, for me, it happens to be 860 by 600. And hit Control-1 just to go 100%. And I'm going to fill in the background here with a white. And basically, I want to get a, a screenshot specifically of this interface area so that I can grab the color code. So all I have to do is I uh, hit Alt and Print Screen to do that here on Windows and just Control V to paste that in. So I'm not going to be recreating the entire interface, but just the basic elements, mainly the panels that kind of contain the different buttons. Uh, so there's actually some detail in there, and they're all around just one pixel. So what I want to do is first get the eyedropper to get this background color right here, and then switch this over, and I also want to get this color right here. All right, so that's basically like, like a, a, a one pixel stroke outline on most of the panels. So now I'm going to take the rounded rectangle tool and I'm going to make the border radius too because uh, you can see right up here at the very corner, there's a slight border radius. And I'm going to hit Control-1 just to get back to 100% and then just hold Alt and left click and drag out. All right, so the actual color of this needs to be... Yeah, that's the right color. Uh, and then the uh, actual panel stroke, if we double click over here, click on stroke, make that one pixels for the size, and then come over here and grab this color. Hit OK. And there's also a very faint, I'll show you. Actually, I'll leave it there and just bring it up right around here. We can see both this top here and in here, we see a uh, a light, basically, inner shadow. And so this color is a little bit less light than this one. So I'm going to flip this over and get this as well. All right, and I'll switch them back. All right, so now I'm going to hit Control-1. I'm going to hide that. I'm going to double-click over here, and I'm going to choose inner shadow. And we can see it right there. And I'm going to make the blend mode normal, make the opacity 100, make the size 0, and distance 1. I'm also going to change the angle to 90. All right, and then the actual color will be right here. Hit OK and OK. So it's probably hard to see on this video, but we can zoom up. We can see we've recreated that as we need to. All right, so now what I want to do is take this and duplicate it. So right click, you could duplicate the layer. I have a shortcut key set up, Control Shift and D. And I'm going to hit Control T and basically push, put one in here, right around there. Select the Move tool and hit Apply. And now we can see it inside there. And it's much easier now to see this, uh, the details here. And now, if we double click on inner shadow, we can give it this one, the lighter one, which is down here for the color. So it slightly makes it a little, a little bit brighter, stand out more. All right, so I, recreating these other elements is uh, kind of interesting because if we see over here, we can see this very fine detail over here and over here, which just signifies that you can grab it. Um, it's actually, if you zoom up, very simple. All they are is basically just two different colors, and they're, we're working with just single pixels here. So if we hit Control-1, hide that, 
We can recreate that very simply, and we could do it in a smart way by using the stroke. So first, I'll just make my own kind of design. I'm not going to follow theirs. Uh, what we could do is make that color that color right there. And to know whether or not we're at a single pixel, this is actually two pixels. So if I hit Control T, bring it in, there's one pixel. And then if I double click on this and I give it, actually a smarter way real quickly would be to right click this layer, copy layer style, right click, and then paste layer style. And then you come over here, remove that stroke. And the inner shadow, we don't want it to be inner, we want it to be outer, or drop shadow rather. So that really didn't save me time there. Usually it does. Uh, so I'm going to hit 0 here, 1 here, 90 here. And then I'll grab maybe this color right there. Hit OK. And then go ahead and duplicate that. Just drop it down 2 pixels. All right. And now we can see we've recreated this thing over here in which you can basically move around however you wish and we could also duplicate that again and hit control T hold shift and scale it up and down vertically and you can see we have the same sort of little thing here so these are just you know just some ways to practice uh, with user interface design and let me go ahead and take those again put those over here let's try to recreate this area over here real quick so basically we can take this layer right here duplicate it control T hit apply control H get rid of the Bounding view there. Zoom up here just a bit. Control T will move this up. Hit apply. And what we could do now is get rid. Well, no, I think we'll leave it there. What I want to do is change the actual color. And that's good right there. And then also the inner shadow. I want to change that be less visible all right and then of course we can always make these simple things right here I'm just messing with the size real quick. As you see, very simple. I'm going to go ahead and select these four up here. Just move them over here. And then we can also even put an experiment with adding the menus up here. And I already experimented with... Uh, the type of uh, font that you need. I'm just choosing Arial, and for anti-aliasing, I'm choosing none. I'm gonna spread these out a little bit further. And you can also do things like, you know, once you create the layer styles for these, you know, recreating them to do other things is very simple. So uh, let me find this over here. What we could do is come underneath this area. Let's put these at the top. And maybe show what it looks like when a person has clicked on one of these. All right, and then also do another one. And take both of those, control E, and then right click. Actually this one, yeah, I'm just gonna paste that layer style, whatever you had before, and we can see that it works pretty well. 
And that is basically it. I mean, that's what you would do, as you can see, when it comes to recreating an interface. It gives you good practice, not obviously to steal, but obviously just so you gain an understanding of how to use layer styles and, and all that. So I'm going to end this video here. It's just a very quick tutorial. The past two days have been so insanely busy. I've been uh, recording and finishing my monthly video course that I do for a different network. Finally finished that today, but uh, my throat is killing me from talking so much. So yeah, that is it. Hopefully you learned a little something here about, you know, just ways to use those layer styles in order to create very specific effects. Usually people use like, you know, inner shadows and stuff for like really blurry, but you can just really use this the size and the distance to uh, really affect them uh, in a much different way than what's usually done with them. All right, so if you haven't yet, check out designcourse.com. I just launched some forms there. Go ahead and introduce yourself and subscribe here on YouTube. All right, I will see you tomorrow.